out of things to live for. That day ain't here yet. The Wolverine takes place in 2013 and is directed by James Mangold and stars Hugh Jackman reprising his role as Logan the Wolverine. Obviously. Um, this takes place in Japan where Wolverine has gone to say goodbye to a gentleman called Yashida whom he saved during World War II after a nuclear bomb was dropped on Nagasaki which of course was damn horrific and probably a lot more interesting than that Oppenheimer film if I'm, if I'm completely honest. But um, Wolverine is living in solitude after the events of X-Men The Last Stand. Of course he had to kill Jean Grey in that film and it's taken a toll on his mind. Uh, Famke Janssen also uh, reprises her role in Hallucinations of Jean Grey which is pretty cool and she does a fantastic job and she and well she's not in the film too much but the little bit of her we get is really really cool and of course we also have Yukio in this film as well she is badass and uh, does a lot of really cool sword work unfortunately this is the only film that she is in um, which is a, is a shame she's a mutant with precognition she can see people's deaths and Logan is essentially weakened in this film and is trying to save Yashida's granddaughter Mariko from getting taken out by the Yakuza and, and ensues a lot of really awesome scenes. Now I watched the extended or unleashed extended edition on Blu-ray which I recommend is the version you watch because it has a lot more uh, action in it, has a lot more blood, some uh, there's a lot more extended scenes and you get a lot more uh, character interaction between Logan and Mariko as well which is which just adds to the story. Um, uh, the, all the effects and whatnot are pretty solid. Hugh Jackman is damn awesome in the film. He's you know he's he's always damn good at whatever he does. And uh, just the supporting cast kick a lot of ass. There is only one great big massive downside to this film, um, and I'll get to that later on. Now Wolverine in the comic books did go to Japan. He was taught the ways of the samurai and all that kind of jazz, and goes up against the Silver Samurai. Unfortunately. This film is more. Um, it just took it just took the Japanese element. Wolverine isn't trained by any samurai in this in this film, unfortunately. Uh, and although he does technically use a sword towards the end of the film, um, it just yeah, it's it's not as it's not as awesome as it should have been. There was a couple of decisions towards the end of the film which are just. Um, lame however there is a really decent fight scene on the bullet train which is really really cool and uh because i i don't know see i'm not a fan of making logan weak i mean they do that in the actual third movie logan of course where he, his claw doesn't come all the way out and his healing isn't as good as it once was i don't like that i think wolverine is better when he is an indestructible demon that just can absolutely annihilate everything that's what i still haven't seen really hopefully we get that in deadpool and wolverine but we need to see that we need to see wolverine take a load of punishment but keep going and just be savage um a thing i've noticed a lot with uh the x-men movies as i've been watching them is he wolverine does a lot of hiding from things uh, a lot of the time like he's running away from mutants in the last stand uh, it's one that throws like bone knives out of his wrists and that makes no sense because although yes Wolverine does feel pain um, he knows he's pretty much indestructible so I don't know why he's hiding it, it's a bit bizarre <laughs> but you also get a character called Dr. Green who I believe is an original character created she is also a mutant called Viper she has like um, there's my PC letting me know something is happening thank you for that pc uh so, sorry for that um yeah she's an original character who's snake-like she has venom and has a weird tongue and um you know she, she's just there she doesn't do too much really but you get a cool fight scene with her and yukio towards the end of the film now the big downside about this film is the silver samurai in the comics he's just a the samurai the silver in the in this film they turned him into a transformer uh, essentially he's just a big metal ad well, big adamantium me mechanized suit i did not like that also the whole plot the thing of obviously well mild spoiler alert now okay but uh, wolverine has his claws chopped off i don't like that either i think <laughs> I, I i thought that was just a bit lame um but and then of course it's explained off screen by 
um, Brian Singer for Days of Future Past, because of course this film sets up Days of Future Past. Brian Singer just sort of off. It's not explained whatsoever in the films, but Magneto manipulates the adamantium within him to put the, uh, the adamantium back onto his claws for Days of Future Past. Just one line of dialogue would have, you know, just married those two films together, but. You know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, the Wolverine has some kick-ass action, has a brilliant performance by Hugh Jackman, and is very gritty, and the action is really solid. Um, there's also a, a cool bit of humour in there as well. And like I said, watch the Unleashed Extended Edition, definitely. But the Wolverine is definitely worth a watch. The only thing I didn't like was the mechanised um, so Silver Samurai. But apart from that, it's a really solid film. I do not acknowledge X-Men Origins Wolverine, because that film is just good goddamn dreadful but the wolverine is a decent follow-up to x-men the last stand but let me know in the comments down below what you think of the wolverine and as always thank you very much for watching